that mm. moment, I had an opportunity to come to Lagos to host a show. Ah. Yes. But that's another long story, Chidi. It never happened. But that's <laughs> when I got the Lagos experience. The so you were invited to Lagos for a yes. show and the show didn't happen? Uh -huh. Did they pay for your ticket at least? No. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Lagos, ah. Yeah. They had already done, yeah. You yeah. see? So they introduced, they welcomed you. Before I enter. Before you enter. Ah, so I, I have been strong since, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> However, it was an opportunity to then explore. So got into Nigeria. The event was still, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're coming, we're coming. We waited, we waited, we waited. And I said, okay, now I'm at this stage where I have to go back home. Mm. Because ticket don't expire. <laughs> And I had to choose what next. I said, if I go back, I'm just going back to, you know, my psychology and yeah. working again, the nine to five or the two, three jobs just to keep up and everything. Or I'm already here. Don't make my ticket money waste, right? Mm -hmm. And um, explore. I have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I knew I was going to lose was time. And if I still mm -hmm. didn't do it, I still would have lost the time, right? Mm. So either mm. way, That's I wasn't powerful. losing anything. Yes, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving, yeah? You're giving yes. it already <laughs> from the beginning. That's so powerful because it's, it's, time is yours to do what you choose to do. So the worst you can do is spend it. Amazing. So you came to Lagos <laughs> and then this thing happened. Yes. It didn't scare you to go back? No. No. So now there was a bit of scare for me. The okay. scare was the unknown. Yeah. Um, and then there was also a bit of braveness. The mm. braveness was I had a second fallback. I was a Canadian citizen, so anything... So I'm being realistic of my own situation. Yes, yes, Any little yes. thing. And I said to myself, if it doesn't work, what do I have to lose? Last, last, I just go back, go, you know, my family's there. Yeah. Just go back home and, you know, take my degree. So, of course, I had a degree, so I knew that... There was a fallback There was a fallback on, right? Whether I like it or not. Ah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. there. Yes. And um, the so, timing wasn't an issue because it would still pass. Yes. yes so yes. there wasn't that scare. Um, but of course, the natural physical scare of Lagos, ha, I was afraid. You were. Oh, of course. It's like a whole new site. Yeah. yeah it's it's curious, a whole so. new site. Yes. And, um I never had the opportunity to live in Lagos when I was in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, I'm born in Benin City. Yes, I saw so, that. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I had, I spent like seven years in Benin. So that was the uh, only experience I had Nigeria. of Niger. Yes. And it wasn't like the best, mm -hmm. you know, because right. if you know Benin, you know Benin. <laughs> You know, I hear Mataki, you would know. <laughs> but for people that don't know, yes. I know because I had family in Benin. Mm -hmm. I'm from Delta State. Oh, but what nice. is the Benin experience? <sighs> the Benin experience that I had was traumatic. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why? Because at a particular stage um, of period of time, Benin was extremely unsafe. Yes, yes. Um, I don't, not like now where things are slightly okay, but we're talking of 1990, yes. um, you know, that period. Yes. And as a young girl, the experiences I had. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So the experiences I had with Benny was so traumatic. It's like you just, you just, you just saw a, a river, you just jumped yeah, over it. Like, it was so traumatic. Yeah. So we're talking of like arm rubbers, you yeah. know, when, Chances, yeah. yes, like that. Um, one day for the for the master, every day for the thieves. That was my life. Really? Yeah. So how did you survive? So, so how did you anchor yourself in all of that? How did you survive that? I was a child. Of mm -hmm. course, it left such, you know, traumatic psychological experience. But, um, so it was because of that, you know, mm. and I think every average Nigerian can relate to this. Mm. It's because of that, that Nigerians seek refuge yeah. in other places. Yeah. It's because of that, that we run away out of our country to find safety. So it was because of that, that my mm. parents had to take us out because you don't want your child to die yeah. at such an early Untimely stage. <laughs> we talked about you know wanting strength enough, wanting to bleach your skin. Yeah. 
when you, because when you grow up, people would talk up, call you a monkey. Yeah. This literally happened. Yeah. Is this it? Is this a real thing? Like, it happens, absolutely. Right. And it happens from your shade too, you know? So that's, ah. yeah, that's why it's even more of a weird thing. That's a weird thing. Yeah. That means the person is also self-hating. Exactly. And, you know, most times you... So I always feel that, like, those who get bullied mm -hmm. don't get bullied from outsiders. It's from within, uh, you know. Because that's what hurts the most. Exactly. Because so, mm, somebody else says it. You, you, may, you may not care, exactly. but it's somebody who's like you. Yeah, who's it. around you, yeah. who you're always kind of seeing every other day. You know, it hurts more. So did you try it or you stopped as a thought? I tried. I tried. So, um... This was like within that side. Yeah. Um, and so you're, a, you're a teenager. Yes, so yes, yes. And I made a statement that there, the, the positive aspect of moving to Nigeria was seeing more of individuals who looked just like, like me. Mm, and um, of course, not really having that for such a long time, yeah. I was in an environment where I had multicultural friends, friends who my best friend is Hungarian. Mm -hmm. um, so I had an Indian neighbor, mm -hmm. I had Jamaican friends, I had Ghanaian friends, I had um, Barbados, you know, just different all um, ethnicity and I never was able to relate to more of my kind mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. I get that. So when I got here, it made me appreciate more of me. Um, but how do I now rectify it in such kind of place if I am there? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. What is it like to be a celebrity in Nigeria? You know, like, just in this our space that we are, yeah? <laughs> People know you, you're trying to live your life, you know, etc, etc. Um, it's a big question I'm asking you, but just try. What, what is that experience like? Okay, I won't be able to... Okay, before I start, I have to explain in a broader form. Please. And I hope I can answer. Um, an individual like me that lived in Canada, grew up there, I understand the difference of what it is to live in two different societies. Mm -hmm. Firstly, and I understand what, it, what privacy is. <laughs> I understand what mutual respect, yeah, you know? Yeah. I understand what um, yeah. boundaries. Yes. You know, all of the right things, I understand that. <laughs> so as a person, not a celebrity first, but as a person in Nigeria, it's, um, you know, the range of differences quite much, you know? Yeah, it is a lot. It's a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. It's a lot. <laughs> so, it's a difference, right? And it's drastically different. Yeah. And then to now emphasize and be um, in such position and responsibility of personality, it's now more of, um, it's unexplainable. Yeah. It's, I don't think there are words to explain it yeah. because you feel that you have a lot of obligation to mm. meet up with. Mm. And mm. Um, when you really don't, you know, um, because every individual has an obligation to meet up with as yeah. a human being yeah. for their community, for yeah. their um, society, mm -hmm. for their system. Mm -hmm. And just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you, you have, have it. It's rights. just you. No, yeah. it's you and I. You yeah. as the normal person, you also have the same equivalent responsibility, responsibility. as I do. That's it. It's right. just about the quantity of what I do. Yeah. So it's just degree, but it's the same essential thing as a human being. You got it. So. I love that. Let's come back to, um, to uh, one of the big movies that came out last yeah, year, Judy. Niger Christmas, yes, which I watched again two weeks ago. I didn't even know that we we're going to be sitting down. I was with one of my Oyubo. Energy. Energy. I love it. I love it. I didn't know I was going to sit down with you. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, no, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, one of my Oyubo friends is like, no, she's like, I want to watch a Nigerian movie. I'm like, I don't want to disgrace myself. Which one am I going to show you? Let's watch a Niger Christmas, you know. Um, that was an event for Nigerians, a big event. It was, I mean, people, some people have, you know, people, critics have said what they want to say, to CTC, but everybody watched the Niger Christmas. It was our first Christmas original, yes. I believe, in the West African yes. market, all of that. Um, what was that like for you? It looked like you were having fun. In Niger Christmas. Yes. Directed by Kulia Fana. The great. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Period. Yes. Um, firstly, it was 
it was an honor. It yeah. was a moment to have shared um, the stage with such great talents yeah. and um, such experienced individuals who had deep passion for what they love to do, mm. to come together, together and create something that's different. Yeah. And the process of that, mm -hmm. um, of getting into a Niger Christmas yeah. was very, very special to me. Really? How so? Um, so at that time, last year, 2021, um, I got a call from Mr. Kumi. And I was like, yeah, hey, <laughs> you know, like. Yes, so, stop playing. Yeah, yeah like he does a call. So when you see a <laughs> Kune Palaya's call, you're like, whoa, okay. I see yeah. the idea, whoa. Hello, sir. Hi, Linda. Are you around? I um, love it. <laughs> there's an audition I would like for you to read for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't even know the at the I'm time. I'm not even around. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, okay. Send a video ASAP um, mm -hmm. by tomorrow. Read this character and send it to me. There's someone I'm looking at, but I'm seeing you. I don't know why I'm just seeing you for this character, but there's somebody else for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, sir. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. And I stopped where I was, quickly went back home, changed my direction to start studying for the, for the character, mm -hmm. and then sent it to Mr. Kunle as soon as possible. And then I was like, okay, sir. He said, okay, thank you. I'm like, okay what next what next yes and that was it and then two days after i see his call i'm like oh lord <sighs> um okay we're having some difficulties i'm like oh difficulties oh, <laughs> of course <laughs> oh, it's done <laughs> um but we're still looking at it i, I don't know why I just i'm thinking they're asking are they you know have i worked with you before i said no sir no um <laughs> they're just wondering why i'm looking at you but i'm like Oh God, and I mean, I'm like, God, God, oh, grace, grace, grace. Keep his <laughs> eyes on me. me. Help me. <laughs> He's like, they were there, they just wondered, have you ever worked with her before? Are you mm -hmm. sure? How do you know? You know, do you have assurance? What do you think? I'm like, okay. He's like, no problem, but we'll see. We'll get back to you. I'm like, okay, thank Kule you. Is dramatic. Kule, you are dramatic. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> and at that time, I also had another project commitment of trying to say, okay, if I get a call, if I don't get a call, I have yeah. to move forward. Yeah. And just at the right time, I got an email saying, you've got this offer. Nice. Yes. And we, and, we, and we started shooting in July, which was the most special month for me. Nice. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. So I had like my birthday celebration yes. on the set and everything. And I just felt it was so, it was such a spiritual mm. moment and such a, special project mm, mm, extremely special yeah 